Hey y'all, welcome back to another Kitchen Conversation where we talk real food, real, mm -mm. Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Kitchen Conversations where we have real talk over real food today. Today, I'm baking a cake. Don't mind my clothes, cause we having a um, surprise sleepover for my friend. You'll see that later. No, you won't. You won't see that later. You'll get what I'm talking about later. Okay, so I'm making a strawberry lemon cream cheese pound cake. Right? Right. Strawberry lemon cream cheese pound cake. Yeah, it they it might be some words. Look for it. It's a title. Um, okay, so first off, hey y'all, how y'all doing? Um I'm not a baker, disclaimer. I just, I can follow a recipe though. So I found this recipe, sort of kind of found a recipe. I just, I'm adding stuff. Listen, go with me. You you clicked, you're here. Hello. Um, first thing you want to do is cream your butter and your cream cheese, right? Unsalted butter. Don't do the salted butter, just... When you're baking, you got to follow exact, and it said unsalted. So, we're going to do unsalted, not salted. Don't ask me why. All right. Three sticks of butter, unsalted. One eight-ounce package of cream cheese. Don't get the flavored stuff. I mean, you could if that's what you... That's that's what you do. Don't get the flavored stuff as far as this recipe go. Good kind. Don't skimp out on the get a get a decent kind. Get a decent kind. All right. About three to four cups chopped strawberries. I'm I'm assuming six eggs, vanilla extract, lemon extract, three cups of sugar, three cups of cake flour. Now cake flour. Uh, let me find my box. Not a sponsor, but I raised Southern and cake flour. You want to get swans down. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that some of y'all country girls, men, women, country folk, know about the swans down cake flour. I was raised on this. This is what you want to get as far as cake flour. Now, if you ain't got cake flour, you can get flour, bacon, soda, bacon powder, salt, so. It's a recipe for for without the cake flour, but cake flour makes it easy because it got all the other stuff in there. I'm gonna put this in a tablespoon, mm -mm, teaspoon of salt. I know you wonder why is there salt, but if you go to Netflix and watch Salt, Fat, Acid, and Heat, it'll show you why you want to put salt in sweet stuff because salt makes sweet even sweeter. Go to your Bibles, you'll find it in there somewhere. So, we having a surprise sleepover for my friend. She leaving me. You know, I'm a little sad about it. But I'm going to be okay. You want to make sure your butter is softened too. And if you want to like soften it, so you, you take it out the refrigerator, let it sit for a minute. You you know, if you got time, you just let it sit on your counter. It'll be soft enough. If you don't have that much time, take the butter and sit it on a warm stove or by a warm eye. Or if you take a bowl and put it in the microwave and heat it up and then you take that bowl and like cover it, it'll help soften it too. It's tricks to this. You want to make sure it's softened because you can't cream anything together if it ain't soft enough for you to cream. Anywho, we're having a surprise sleepover thing. So we're gonna have movie night. We're gonna I'm, I'm making meatballs, um, deviled eggs. Um, I have pizza and this cake. <laughs> um, I don't know what else. I mean, I think that's all I got at the grocery store. And then I'm cooking. If, to all my Shrek fans, if you know about Shrek, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. All right, so, cream cheese, butter, you want to cream that together real good first. Now, if you don't have a hand mixer, strong, 
strong arm is what you're going to have to use, spoon, whisk, whatever. But get you a hand mixer. Now, if you got a KitchenAid, if anybody want to bless me with a KitchenAid mixer, please. But hand mixer. Now, I'm going to be quiet for a minute because you're not going to hear nothing. Right, right. Make sure that it's nice and creamy. Y'all, I gotta throw this trash away. I, I, I can't work under these conditions. You wanna make sure you cream is messy. Just deal with it. Get you some gloves. I'm at home. I'm cooking for people that know me anyway. You wanna make sure that it's good and creamy. Now, get you, you find you a spoon too so you can scrape the sides down. Or you might have a half mixed cake because you ain't mix everything so that's self-explanatory um mm -hmm. yep we gonna whip it one more time All right, now your butter and your cream cheese has been creamed together. Lovely. Now what you want to do is add your six eggs, your extracts, and your sugar. Yes. Your six eggs, extracts, and your sugar. Put that in there. And um, yeah. What was I saying? Sleepover. So we're going to have movie night. We're going to watch all of the Twilight movies. All of them. Every last one of them. And it's going to be great. Yep. We, no, it's going to be great. Nothing like Harry Potter, but it's going to be great. It's going to be great. And then, I don't know, after that, I'm hoping, listen, I, all of us are at a certain age. Hopefully, I can stay up through all of them. We'll see. It is what it is. I didn't take a nap today. Now, when you cracking, when you cracking your eggs, you want to make sure you don't put a shell in there. I didn't get no shell in there. But if you have a tendency to get shell in there, crack it in a separate bowl. That way you can pick the shell out. And the easiest way to get the shell out is you take the shell and get the shell. Take the shell, get the shell. You get it. You get it. If, if you don't get it, I'm sorry. I'm, I can't teach you. Extracts. I'm doing vanilla and lemon but a little more than a lemon because oh, strawberry and lemon um i need a paper towel thank you so much thank you so much ain't he wonderful ain't he wonderful everybody wonderful we're gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla pure vanilla extract it's expensive. Not even going to lie to you. I can't even tell you how much this little one ounce. I mean, they charge in street prices. And as much as I paid for this, I could have had a sack of weed. I don't smoke no more. But I'm saying, as much as I paid for this, I could have had a sack of weed. For this one ounce, I could have had. Mm -mm. Alright. So, we one teaspoon of vanilla. In the words of Tabitha Brown, like so, like that. I love her. One day, one day, one day, 
if she ever sees this video. That's so country, sees. If she ever watches this video, I love you, Tab. We love you, I'm going to do a teaspoon and a half. Teaspoon and a half. It was more like two teaspoons. Anyway, we're going to do a teaspoon and a half of the lemon extract. I did a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, we want to add... I went ahead and pre-measured this because I, I don't have canisters like my grandma have. I had the bag. I had them in the bag. I didn't feel like being on camera trying to scoop and level them off with the bag. It's too much. So when you want to put love in it. You want to you gradually add as you go, but you don't want to mix too much. You 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 gonna you gonna change the whole texture of the cake. So this gonna be another moment. We'll fast forward through it or something. Like I said, you want to scrape. You want to scrape the sides down because you got to get all the all the ingredients got to be in in the batter. It's just the ice maker. Don't act like y'all ain't never had seen all. Ain't never heard no ice maker work. At least it worked because I've been in some houses where the ice maker don't even work. Mm -hmm. uh, no shade. Maybe. All right, so you want to make sure you get everything incorporated, right? Right. And we're going to mix again. We'll fast forward through that too. Teaspoon, mm -mm. half a teaspoon of salt makes sweet sweeter. I don't know, somewhere in the Bible they say we are the salt of the earth. So this unseasoned world needs Christians is what the Bible is saying. I believe that. And if you don't, that's your prerogative. But I do. Hallelujah. Now we're going to get to the cake flour and the strawberries. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Just going to dump all that in there. You, They say you want to sift it. You know, if you got a sifter, sift. If you don't, you don't. I didn't sift last time I made this cake. It came out wonderful. So, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Uh. creamy pound cake. The thing is, it's a cream cheese pound cake. I know you're used to seeing like your, your the, uh, like the regular pound cake, like it's an all butter pound cake and it's like the lemon pound cake. The difference between the texture of this pound, this kind of pound cake and the others is because of the cream cheese. It makes it fluffier. It makes it creamier. To me, it tastes better. But you know, scrape the sides. I'm going to keep saying it because you just got, you got to do that when you're baking the cake. If you're not scraping the sides down, you know, you you missing half the cake is on the side of the bowl. 
You gotta scrape that stuff down. Get all the ingredients you paid for. Or, I mean, even if you do nothing but swipe your EBT card for them, you paid for them. We gonna mix again. Just as important, just as important as the size. I'm so country. Y'all follow me. You get me. I think we about done with the mixer. Pop these out. Mm-hmm. Yep. You want to get all that. You want to get all that. Every, every bit of that. Now, if you got young kids or grown kids who may or may not like to lick the utensils, I'm sure I have one in this room. Enjoy. Um, that's how you can pre-tell if how your cake gonna taste. By the smacking, I hear it is gonna taste wonderful. Yep. Oh, yeah. Seems like it's going to taste great. Now, you don't want to eat too much of it because, of course, it's still got, you know, raw egg in it. However, what? it's a little bit. We've, you know, incorporated. The last thing is the strawberries. Strawberries is the last thing to incorporate. You want the other one. Now, I'm not going to use a mixer for this part. Just want to incorporate it in. That's all. Don't, don't be too rough with it, though. You just want to fold it in. That's what they say. You just want to fold it in, get them in there, you know. Don't be too rough. Gentle, you know. Make sure you get them mixed in real good. You don't want somebody to have a slice of regular pound cake and the other person got the strawberry lemon part. You don't, you, don't, you know, that's a fight ready to happen. You don't want that. It looks good, y'all. It looks really good. I'm a little proud of myself. Because I be cooking. All right. I think that, you know, we got it mixed in. I'm going to show y'all. Y'all see that? Y'all see how good that looks? Like, I could eat it like this, but that's fat. No judgment, though. I'm going to get you a, a cake pan. I don't know. Uh, I, I think you use a loaf pan. That's a little long square, like bread loaf pan. You can use a bun pan. I got this one right here. This is actually for an angel food cake, but I don't make those. I might one time. I don't know. But I used this last time. It worked just fine. The only issue is that the inside comes, it pops out. You just put a pan up under there. And before you put it in the oven, it'll catch whatever. You want to butter and flour your, your, you know, so it won't stick. Now, don't forget to do that. Don't use the non-stick spray. Just butter, flour. Don't use the non-stick spray because sometimes it'll let you down. Butter and flour. It keeps you going every time. Now you're just going to transfer this into this. Put this on the pan. Put the pan in the oven. You're going to be in the oven about an hour and a half. Listen, find you something else to do. As far as me, I'm going to be preparing the rest of the food for the party. As as for you, you're not going to be on this video for an hour and a half. We'll, we'll, we'll find something to do. But that's what I'm about to do. So, yeah. Preheat. Okay, preheat your oven. As black folks do, what we do, preheat the 350. That's what you're going to put it on today. Power to the people. Preheat your oven, 350. I... 
Enjoy that. Now you wanna, you wanna even it out now. Even it out. Even it out. There you go. Now, something else you can do. I'm going to take this spoon because it's dirty and I, I, I used it for the teaspoon. Swirl around and that just at the top pops the bubbles. You know what I'm saying? You just want to swirl it around in there real good. Just the top. You ain't got to stir it. You just swirl it around. Put it on the pan. And then we're going to put it in the oven. All right? All right. 90 minutes. 90 minutes. And then somewhere around 90 minutes, you want to take a knife, stick it down towards the, the center of it. If it comes out goopy, put it, you, you got to stay in the oven a little longer. If it comes out fairly clean, you're good. Well, while we're waiting on the cake to bake, I figured we'll sit down and have a chat, talk, conversation, whatever you want to call it. I'm in my feelings. It's a bittersweet occasion. My friend is leaving me, but she she not gonna be far away. However, she's not gonna be at my side as she usually is anymore. And I don't like it. And I wanted to come on here and tell y'all, it's okay not to like something. I'm proud of her taking the step and taking the leap, but I don't, I don't like no parts of it. I don't. I'm going to miss her. She has been everything. I, I, I think I can say that. I, I feel confident in saying that. She has been a little bit of everything for me. She's always been there for me to hear all of my good ideas, bad ideas. When I had to pull up on a few times, she was there when, um, I, yeah, that time. But she's out. She's been there, and she's she's been my 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 push. The reason I'm starting this whole venture and this whole channel thing is because of her. She gave me tons of compliments, which irked me because I don't do very well with those. But she was just trying to highlight the good things about me that I could use and build a platform off of. I am going to miss that. Not saying that I don't have that in my other friends. It's just, it, it comes out different from her. I guess because we, I don't know. It comes out different from her. It's just, it's bittersweet. And that's why I'm making this cake. And I figured if I take all of my bittersweet emotions and I put them in the cake and I'm going to eat the cake and then I'm going to feel good and then I'm going to be okay. Because at the end of the day, she has to go. And I'm not going to keep her here just because I'm going to miss her. I'm going to feel a little lonely. No. That'll be very rude of me. That'll be so wrong of me holding up her life because I feel some type of way. That's not going to work. This, you know, this is for all the college students that got to leave home. This is for all the wives that husband have to, they're getting deployed or vice versa. This is for all of those people that have someone close to them that's that may be actually physically living leaving this earth. It's okay to not be okay. Get through it and you hold on to it. You know, those memories and everything. Now she's not gonna be gone. She ain't dying or nothing. She's not gonna be gone too far. She just won't be at my reach how I'm used to her being. So I am proud of her. I'm going to miss you, and I love you from the absolute bottom of my heart. And I will forever and always be the brick to your blow. Now let's go check on this cake. out of the oven i don't like the way it looks i made it and um it was a new recipe it was new 
and will it, the next time I make it, it's probably gonna be some things I change. Like for you, you should probably change it to um, dried strawberries instead of the fresh strawberries. I think the dried strawberries would be you still get the flavor, but it, you, the moisture of strawberries won't seep into your cake. Cause I think that's I think that's what happened. However, some people tasted it, said it tastes just fine. It's done. It just don't look like it's done but i did it y'all tuned in for it i hope y'all's turn out you know pretty and wonderful and fabulous and if it does send me a pic drop it in the comment leave a comment if you don't even like the way it look i want you to say that too say it all i don't really care uh i feel no ways in the words of omarion however i mean i might feel a little way but say it because i don't care i mean i care say it Leave a comment. Anyway, like the video, share it, subscribe if you haven't, click the bell. So, you know, I'm probably going to miss, mm -mm, cook something up next time. So, I'll holler at y'all next episode. Bye.